Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcome back to Lovecraft Country and Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace, the first of the two supporter-selected episodes of this month. The second one should be coming around next week, and there will be an announcement on that, as it will be a bit of a difference. But, in this case, if you recall, we have finally gone through the entire adventure and come to the final chapter, the final boss, which we all knew who it was going to be from the beginning, practically, let's, let's face it. Now, of course, if you've just, this is your first episode of the series, by God, go up to the right there and start at the beginning, because from this point on, I'm going to spoil the hell out of it from the beginning. Yes, of course, Professor Tillingast was the girl as it were we knew this from the beginning and it's ironic that they may they played their cards so openly in this one i mean we always hear her going on and on about trying to discourage us to the point where it became basically annoying um but yeah okay we know that she did it now the thing is of course we saw her dead body in her mansion at the very beginning of the series which means that that was probably you remember that was probably to insert the well Lovecraftian fetus has been reanimating corpses here. So whatever she's become has basically been kind of gestating. If you recall back around the fourth or fifth chapter, I don't recall which one, her body went disappearing and it infected a um, grave digger who then infected Arkham Asylum. So yeah, we're going to see what she's been doing or whether or not, you know, majority of Arkham and Massachusetts has been reduced to a breeding hive for the uh, cult of Shabdigrath, which I probably pronounced, uh, mispronounced and it Kind of sounds like 1930s anyways. So let's continue, shall we? And end this horror. After such a long and twisted journey, it's time for a homecoming. Come, my friends. Let us end where we began. In my Arkham Mansion. Right then, okay, so yeah, we've could final mission, a mother's embrace. Oh god, yes, yeah, so we're basically it's the same place as an invitation, so it's gonna be the same map, but it's probably some hidden sections, and of course she'll be the big boss. So let's get on with it, shall we? Okay, so we all know we're starting with Zoe. The whole point of me keeping her out last episode was, of course, so that she'd be kind of fresh for this one. Now, with that, we realize that we're gonna have to go in pretty heavy. Of course, if you recall, let's see. Now, here's the interesting thing to deal with that uh, her ability. She increases the group's initiative in combat. She increases the probability of group weapons starting an enemy with a condition. Now, this could technically help Zoe stun a bit more with the claws. It's your ability is, of course, to unlock any other ability. Now, the thing is, Rex's magic is average, but then so is hers, and hers is weak. So, ironically, it comes down to our number two, either being Rex or the increase. Uh, for the um, additional chat passing skills, or it comes down to Agatha. The primary difference is that he's got slightly less health, and she's, but does have better melee, why she has average in all the stats. So first of all, we all know we're doing, okay, Zoe's first, Banks is second because he's our shooter. So it comes down to these two, the parapsychologist or the reporter. So while the tests are good, it's not essential, and her ability to increase initiative, yeah, speed is life in the game. Let me just tell you that right off the bat. Okay, so we're gonna use these investigators. Now we gotta figure out what the hell we're gonna be giving these guys. Now the equipment's kind of been messed up a bit. So yeah, durability, yeah. First of all, we know that Roland has to get the best gun. Like we're not gonna give him the sawed off shotgun that's ruined. We're going to give him one that ruined ruined, but we got the durability one. There we go. There you go. So that's happened. Also, with Zoe, since she's the tank, we're going to give her all the defense items. So she will be taking all the damage for everyone. And I think the pipe wrench is probably her best. 79, critical hit 520, 795, 50. Blind is not actually as important, by the way, because she's in melee. It doesn't matter. And blind just removes the... Uh, ability to uh, attack with ranged weapons. So she's already in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But yeah, the custom ammo is definitely going to make Banks a goddamn killer in this regard. So that being said, we got to find the best pistol to give him. Ruined, ruined, new. Oh yeah, best pistol is this one. Now, the thing is, is I believe we only, we only have one new Chester rifle in basic damage. Now, first of all, Book of Healing definitely goes to her. We wanted that for a while, actually. The Bravery, Rack, and Flesh Ward. Now, the thing is about Flesh Ward is that we're only going to be able to use it once or twice, but it is going to come in handy when we do it. Now, Rack, 
is seven to nine damage, but the um, let's see, the Winchester is seven to eight damage, but it's going to be using the cartridges. We have 21 cartridges, but only two shells. You can notice that we're almost out of ammo there for the shotgun, which means that Banks is going to be have to hoard what little is left or ditch the shotgun before the end for something else. But since we have the plus two damage, you notice we have seven to eight here and seven to eight here. So best bet might be to give Banks the full load here. That means, however, we're going to have to give her the rack, because that's in pretty good shape, I believe. Yep, durability new for combat purposes. Now, if we come across another weapon, shot a pistol or something, we'll give that to Agatha as well, because that will give her a backup concept, because she can't, for example, hmm, in that case, we might as well just give her the pistol too, even though it's ruined. We're we'll changing that pretty quickly. And of course, we have to decide, yeah, she needs the bandages, because she's a healer. Three, yep. Yeah. And oosh, we got a problem here. Your best bet might be to switch out this, move this over here, which basically means that she's going to be dealing with two types of guns, because she's got the she's got the uh, rifle, and that he needs the revival. Now, it's I've always been tempted to bring the bromide with him because it allowed him to shoot twice in once round, but uh, keeping everybody up is going to be a lot more important. Plus, of course, we're going to be dealing with stuff as we go. Now, of course, she can attack, she can heal, she can shoot. The only thing we will be leaving out is the Flesh Ward. We've got all of these to make up for it, and Bravery is... Eh. thing is, she already does basic... But she already does additional damage to melee. He already is going to be doing custom ammo, which is going to be great, making him absolutely deadly. So, and then we're going to be dealing with Agatha's as support. All right, so... And her ability to make us, I think her hypervigilant, my god, I didn't realize it was down to only two shells. God, we used up a lot last time. All right, so let's launch into the scenario, shall we? Here we go. This is ominous. Welcome home, my dear friends. To think it all began when the Professor invited me here. This mansion seems more sinister now. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Technically, there is not... It's not canon whether or not God exists in the Lovecraftian universe. You take your pit, which is more horrible. Let's find Professor Tillingist and stop her. Why don't you have like a thousand cops? Seriously, flash the badge. Yes, please come and join me. Together, we shall marvel at the gifts of Shubnigara. He's way into the, too much into this. Yeah, remember Shubnigara is a fertility cult, so seduction is actually one of their primary ways of recruiting. So I just want you to think about that for a little bit, because, you know, it's all nice and cool when you have the orgies, but when the tentacles start growing out of your skin, what are you going to do? It's practically a Shubnigara cult. We should make sure we're prepared before we head into the house. I already did that. La objective update enter the house all right so yeah we need to check out shit uh probably made somebody dizzy for which i apologize something is it might tempting as it is to feel that get in the car and drive away from this madness you have business to finish yeah we we can't do the same thing yeah all right so we're gonna check out everything over here see if there's some supplies that we might be able to raid before we go in more bullets! I'll take them. we we'll use shells, but... And bandages. Uh, move... Here. Let me get up to five. So we'll have three in reserve, but we all know we never come back to get the items in reserve. I've done that twice. Well, yeah, it's important. But shells, I need shells. Come on, you've got everything else here, and oh my god, I miss being able to bring the camera up on the Z-axis. It's so much worthwhile if we did that. Love this game, but the camera. Letter. Among the flowers, a letter lies a letter addressed to you, my dear friend. When I first invited you in here on this fateful day, it was to extend an invitation to join our glorious calling, make you one of us. Alright, so the fundamentalist who's a minor serial killer is... Oh, right, that serial killer part. Yeah, if you don't really know about Zoe's character, is that she's called by God to kill cultists. The thing is... She doesn't kill innocent people. She only kills the people the voices in her head tell her, and they all turn out to be bad people. So whether or not she's, in fact, killing people for God's name, or Nalahotep's having fun, who the hell knows? 
Think about Cosmic War, you never get the answers. Among my many associates, you surely would appreciate the honor of being among the first to experience the next evolution of humanity that brought by her glory. Alas, you have proven unworthy of my faith. At every turn, you rejected her beauty, destroyed her blessing. Yet it might be too late to repent your mistakes. You can still join me. Will and Hamlet Tillinghast. I'm not into tentacles. Sorry. Let's check this out over here. Ah. Never run towards the obvious exit. We're going to raid some more stuff. All right. Rack. Well, actually, it makes more sense. We've used this one a couple of times, so switch it out for an absolute new one. All right then. Make sure we're prepared. Oh, more stuff. Uh, you, they give you a lot of stuff. You need to be worried. A wooden crate. Next to the basements are boxes and barrels. You hear something moving in there and only imagine what it hides. Tilling S must have brought back some of those small creatures from the bayou. Great, she's going to try and... F I told you she's going to make a breeding hive. I told you! Okay, the Winchester, which actually makes sense to replace. And cartridges. Yeah, we may have to switch it out so he's using the Winchester. Um, P revolver. I forgot he does additional damage, doesn't he? 9 to 10, 10 to... Yeah, the revolver's going to be used a lot. Because we have 34 bullets. Save the shotgun and eventually, you know, probably abandon it for another item unless we find some serious numbers of shells. Oh, for crying out loud. I know you can fit through there. Just out of the way, hot molder. Alright, shot and nip riffin. Unfortunately, I don't think we can carry anymore. We can. Nope, we can't. Romo. God, it was so good for you, but unfortunately, unless I'm willing to give up the shotgun in any potential reloads. Makes more sense to do the way we've been doing it. We've been doing okay with that particular combo. And we still have a couple of places that could be holding shotgun shells. Alright, let's get through here. More cartridges. Guts. And a pipe wrench. 79, 79. Switch it out, because you want to get the newest one. Oh, for crying out loud. Now I know. I think it's this one's newest one. We would have switched it out otherwise, so boom, there you go. Alright then, let's get in here. The greenhouse. The greenhouse door is locked. You hear nothing inside. There's a little chance Tilling has to hill here. Yeah, but there could be stuff in there. It's an adventure game. We're supposed to loot everything. <coughs> That's a bad sign. Sorry. Right. <coughs> There's been another attack of pollen in my neighborhood. On the note is a worn sheet of paper in which somebody wrote something. Raindrops obscures a few words here and there. Judging by the worn edges of the paper, it's who be one of Till Professor Tilling has favorite recipes. Three kids, sheep's kidneys. One ounce butter, one ounce flour, one half cup of water, one half one teaspoon of herbs. And the guys that do this have seriously to food. We've had recent recipes that were seasoning. Skin and have the kidneys, fry in butter until brown, then stir in the flour, add water, herbs, and seasoning, then stew, stew until cooked about 60 minutes. Serve in a hot dish with gravy. <coughs> uh, well, at least a cook, but I'm not using any of the rest of his recipes. After all, it's probably even kidneys. Come on, be shotgun shells. No oh, more bullets. And we already replaced the revolver, haven't we? Yeah. The only thing is, is that we do want to replace the revolver for her, but she's using the Winchester. But again, he's going to have plenty of bullets. Oh, do shut up, Bellama. Raving cultists do not make good, do not give you good life advice. All right, so let's, let's book it. I like how she rubs her head, even though she's... Yeah, this is her running speed. All right, then. Knock, knock, bitch. We're here. You sense the presence of a terrifying being. Do you want to proceed? Well, yeah. Is it just one boss fight? Not another one of those monsters! Uh, yeah. Not just another one. This one is different. This one is the professor herself. There you are at last. Yeah. I am quite different from those ordinary reborn. God, classism, even when you become an abomination? Ugh. I am her chosen, her nearest worshipper. Soon you will join me in her adulation. Soon you will understand her cosmic grandeur, and together we will sing... 
terribly sorry, but I really got flat voice. Yeah, yeah, shub niggerat. Go Mets. All right, let's do some killing. Okay, so right. Okay, let's just so I can't actually use the other guns. All right then. So here we go. Let's just do some shooting. And now we Overwatch. Problem is, if I go in to attack her, she won't move forward. That's what I need to do. I need to move forward to the point where I will be the first victim. And there's the Overwatch right there. We switch over. Do this, and then we go into Overwatch. And she walks into our position. Okay, so, what are we doing with you? Healing, let's go. Great, we got bullets all, all the day long here. It's 34, and we still have one, but yeah, we'll just skip. We're just going to empty rounds and do healing, I think. She walks. She gets shot. And she gets hit. Looks like all the armor I use had, a, had an actual point. So, we may have another form. Yeah, this is probably not the final fight. If it is, I'm be mildly disappointed. There we go. Fuck. That's what, these, that's what these eyes are saying. Told you! Told you ain't done. Okay, we're into kaiju killing at this point. Okay, so do we need to wake Godzilla up from the Gartic Ice? What? What is that abomination? It's a final boss fight. Is that thing Professor Tullingus? What is? At last, my promised maternity is nigh. Behold, my transcendent child, and become free. No, there are fertility treatments even in 1930. I, you could adopt. I mean, if this is kind of a serious, seriously radical concept for dealing with barrenness, okay? Ugh, gods. Yeah, yeah, Shubnigra. Oh, gods. What has she become? It's, it's unspeakable. It's not quite the title drop for, like, for obscure the crafting story, but it's not that far away. So, yeah. Oh, I'd be kind of fucked, too. But so, we have Merge Tilling Ass and Dark Young. So, what we need to do is figure out who we're killing. Okay, so let's assume that she's probably a vulnerability and just empty into her, okay? We don't know, by the way, if this will move, but we have to assume it will. Paracels. Well, this, okay, so that's just a thing. All right, so we're gonna do exactly the same thing we did this time. Make her the obvious target and then leave her in Overwatch position. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna, I'm feeling like this is a good thing. Oh shit, I fired at the Dark Young, which is the wrong target. I have to go for Tilling Gast. Oh well. Uh, we only have one left, so we're gonna have to end the turn. Go. Should have gone for her. My own strategy. Well, okay. We'll have to use the healing thing soon. Hopefully. Alright, so we've got the suicide bombers. Great. Okay, so what we need to do. We need to continue with the actual plan. And shoot Merch Tillingast. Okay, with Tillingast down. Oh wait, she's gonna be brought back to life, isn't she? Okay, we're gonna have to reload or switch over rounds, so yeah. That's it for our turn.
Now we have to basically come in here. You know, can't do this. We have to have her kill him. So, first things to do is possibly huh. refocus. Put her in the front. All right, so we need to basically shoot that one and walk away. Now, the best way to do this is, of course, we use the one with the we're gonna have one to work away, or we have to take a just only four. We can switch to the fist, punch, and walk away. Problem being is we're gonna have a bunch of attacks when it comes to uh, onto her. We might lose her. I mean, Banks will have to bring her up. We can still do this, however. Okay, so I've thought probably won't work. Yeah, sure, we'll attack that one. That wasn't enough, unfortunately. So we're gonna be in trouble. How much place do we have here? Okay, so this puts us being able to touch these two. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so we'll end here. I think this is a bad round we're going to have, but yeah. Okay, so Tillinghast will resurrect. But only by taking damage away from you. So is he, I am correct, she is... The issue. She's blinded. Kind of expected that part. Kind of hoping you do more damage over your fist, Professor. But okay, so yeah, she's getting nailed. So. Okay, cool. We have issues here. Wow, so he's getting pounded on. Good thing she has the armor. Move distance is lowered. Invisible tendrils are trying your lings, slowing you every immortal pearl. So, fuck you. Alright, so. Uh, she may even go crazy for a bit, but we're up to her. So, what we can do, let's trade with the Professor Tillinghast to get... It costs us two, we do that with the healing. She's Now, we're going to get healed by her anyways. So, the trick is... We go forward. Oops, sorry. No, no. Cancel. Alright, Tillinghast is going to hit us with the healing book next time. So what we need to do is we need to eliminate the ranged ones. We can do this move quite easily. We eliminate this one right here. Confirm the position, then we walk. Strike once. That's not going to work. She is, unfortunately, this is going to end up shackling us, but we can also go the other direction. Can we actually move close enough to attack? We can't, unfortunately. Ah. Uh. Can if it moves forward, do so, but if all of this kind of isn't. Anyways, yeah, let's go back to the original position. Go back to the original plan. Take the bandages. Replace them with melee defense, range defense, ranged. No, magic defense. We're not using magic yet. So. Okay. Now, we use item, and we heal ourselves. Yep. 23 back. All right, so what we need to do now is we just basically need to keep em emptying into Merge Tilling Gas. It's basically, she, like I said, she appears to be. She is, in fact... I enjoy hearing her scream, really. Uh, never know, it might move again. Okay, so the professors... You're far enough away that if I shoot this thing... Nope. We're gonna go with this thing. Get out of our way. Okay, so as long as I move her out of range, using the last movement point... I kind of would prefer to be in this direction, really. Can't. I don't really want to be in front. Well, she could tank at least one hit. She's definitely going to be out of the range of that explosion, and you are not going to be. You die too. Excellent. This is going to suck. Oh, bad breath. And we have more of those things. Right then. Okay, so what you need to do, my friend, is you need to sh kill Ver Schillinghast again. Alright, 
and let's see. Lay, lay, lay. Can do is move, do a fake move in this direction. But if he shoots you, Zoe should move by that point. Good. So yeah, I think we can do this. So this is a melee one here. So we're going to do a fake move on Roland's behalf to then do not confirm position. Set up the Overwatch. So when this thing moves, it blows. Now Zoe, she ironically will be safer if she moves closer to the thing now. It takes three to attack, so we need to go one and two. And the other alternative is to hit this thing, but that's going to best be hit by the two blasts. Uh, so I guess the best we can do... Yeah, touch it. Are you not being touched? God, catch 22. I guess we can use our fists. Now we actually need to move out of the explosion range here. That since using area attack... Okay, so you're on to us. Okay, cool. Use the area attack here. Or, on the other hand, we just use three. Get out of the range to here. Then we... She does have the... All right, let's... Let's double check. She should still have an inventory. Yeah, the bandages. And she's 22 or 28, so... Yeah. Tell you what, let's just... Let's just move her. No, 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 no. Oof. I know Zoe wants to hit everything in sight, but... Not today. Okay. Also, let's keep her confirmed, and you might as well do the overwatch here, in case it moves into place. But you, my good friend, need to move one away from all of this, and then shoot that thing. Okay, so we need to move exactly one. Okay, so to here. Although we can move two, and then you rack. I believe. Nope, this rack is two as well. So we need to get out of range of four left. Can we even do this? Hmm. Where does one leave us? That's right. We need to get out of here. We can do three. Trade back the... Uh... Trade, yep, we can trade back. Confirm position and trade back. Nope, nope, can't trade any three. Oh well, I guess we'll reload. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're one more time and we should be able to do this. I think we're just out of range, good. We're gonna get two small hits here. And Zoe, of course, because she's the one that always gets hit. But that's the whole point. Her job is to get hit. That super armor is coming in handy since, you know, we don't have a lot of magic. Okay, so we'll have to heal her as well. And as well as good whatever the fuck this thing is. Bantu. Uh. Kills its own, which means it's going to take its own damage, hopefully. That was actually kind of interesting the way it did that. Alright, so we're just... Seriously, we could just switch to this and empty into her and hope that's enough, but... I don't think it's actually going to do... Two hits just seems to be enough, you know what I mean? From his point of view. So we'll attack this enemy. Okay, so I was right that she's definitely the weak spot. All right, and... Oh well, reload. Okay, Zoe, you're walking in there and doing some damage, all right? This is what God intended for you, all right? Two hits and three, that will be enough. Confirm your position, yes. And we will strike. Transformed, tilling ass. All right, confirm. Okay, so if this thing does its thing, we can still move. Oh, you. Not sure what you're going to do, but my guess is that we're going to do some book of healing. On. Good. Nope. This one. Ready? Confirm. Huh? 
10 points back. Are we gone wild? We gone wild. I'm cool with that, really. So we can also move her out of the range of any ranged attacks, so we can move her down here. This puts, still puts her to insist as Zoe with healing spells, confirm position. And we'll end her turn. But the 15 of oh, 13, so we still have to do one damage. We can do that. It's gonna hit Zoe. No, it's gonna give birth again. All right then, you, my friend. Okay, so you're not within range of these things. So thought is until I get one hit point left, let's heal. Huh? What if I go for the one hit point Dark Young? Should do at least one damage. Yep, and there you go. We've killed the hybrid thing. Okay. Do we have another form? I like your necklace, by the way, Doc. I didn't notice that before. Gesundheit. I'm so sorry. What began as scientific curiosity... Oh, yes. Lovely fire. Obsession led to madness. And the madness consumed me. The things I have done, I know they are unforgivable. You did the right thing, my friends. Please do what you must to ensure no one ever follows my unspeakable example. Time to burn the books. Arkham is safe, but at what price? Uh, mostly gasoline. <laughs> Alright, so final scenes? Last minute twist. Come on. Completed the end. You only one way to see this horrible dream at the end. You must return to find Professor Killing has defeat tells you that. So, okay, is there nothing else? No, I guess not. That's to be the credit. So, hey, this is Fantastic World saying for Elf in Lovecraft Country. Relatively short episode towards the end here. I'd expected at least some waves of cultists gibbering at us, but apparently the designers decided to be one last fight in the courtyard. Yeah, I mean, you had a, already had the layout. I mean, could have wandered through there, come in, found a decent basement. I mean, I'm not complaining, complaining. It's just the Game Master and me, because I've done Call of Cthulhu so many times. Game Master and me always likes to make them look more complicated. Which, you know, if depending on your particular style of how you like a game, it's good or bad. Uh, but anyways, I hope you did enjoy this little escapade into the canon Lovecraftian universe that was taken right out of the books, from Call of Cthulhu to Arkham Horror to this. So, like I said, I like this. I like the story. The ending's a little anticlimactic, mind you. I would have done a little more myself, but it was well paced out. It uses an enemy... Like King of Roth, that almost is completely overlooked in Lovecraftian lore when it comes to these sort of games. Everybody wants to do Hastur, Cthulhu, occasionally Azathoth, Narlahotep all the time, but Shabnigaroth is, of course, a dark fertility goddess, which basically represents kind of a cancerous form of life, as we've been seeing in this game. And it has an entire genre of lore that has yet to be explored. Now, if you're a potential writer out there for this sort of thing, look her up. Find a few more of the stories that came in the back then. Let your imagination go wild. What would the dark side of nature look like if it was an alien life form? And how would that affect? Because we've already seen that she not only has the ability to create those... Um, Face hugger like things that get into bodies and move them around, as apparently it's a hybrid, because it's a professor could speak. Not only did that, they had the ability to command humans. You remember back in the Arkham Horror levels, which is in fact, I think, my favorite levels. I liked when we invaded the house and got all the information from reading in the second to last episode there. But if you came down to real exciting, it was the Arkham Horror levels were the best. And I gotta say, I honestly loved it. Now, I've liked all aspects of the game. There's not really complaining. I know I missed a couple of things by looking up uh, some stuff after the fact. But, like, there's a... The, the area, we never found the dude in New Orleans we're trying to save. 
um, which is the, we are going to say if that that's another possibility. There's other options, of course. If you go insane, the endings change a bit, and so does the end of this. It's kind of interesting. I mean, if you want to pick up the game and make it a run yourself, take all the lessons I taught and all the mistakes I made and learn from them, then by all means do so. I would encourage you to do so because we want this dev to make more stuff, especially if they're using this IP. So in any case, this is Fantastic Worlds. Welcome back to Lovecraft. Got Balky back there. Uh, saying farewell from Love Our Country and the Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace series. Hopefully we'll find a, a sequel in the future. Now, of course, this has been our monthly series and it looks like that Scarlet Hollow will take up the monthly series, which is kind of appropriate as it only comes out in chapters every few months. The dev thinks they won't get it finished until 2024, including Human Society lasts that long. And um, so in monthly episodes, but we're going to try to do it live, live here on YouTube and not on Twitch because I have far, far better uh, optics um, SEO wise on YouTube. And I will be hopefully be posting shortly after this comes out a video to tell you when and how, because I've gotten to the point where I've set up a recording station, which God's hope that the wireless holds together well enough that will be allowing me to do it in a live fashion. Oh, thank you. Our cats and rabbits, our families at Cthulhu, and of course, player. And of course, my viewers, a good thank to you for being here. Anyways, I will see you next time. I'd like to thank my Acolyte level supporters whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise of the Dark Lords of content and data.